it is a wonderful day to wander and today we are wandering in Andorra and the first thing that we're doing this morning is basically the walk of shame. We'll bring you along. So about this walk of shame, um, let's talk a little bit more about that. <laughs> so here's the deal. We're going to go run 9 or 10 miles this morning and a requirement for me to make that happen is a cup of matcha tea. But Sadly, it is Sunday morning and the local matcha place is closed. And we're in a very small area. There isn't matcha everywhere. Did we mention yesterday that we went through an area that was not very local? Somewhere there does have matcha. I'm kind of willing to do a deal with the devil. I mean, it's like the anti-local matcha, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's so much better in Europe. Not that I would know. Um, but than it is in the States because they're yeah. not, like over the top of the sugar. So I wouldn't necessarily call this a wander local excursion per se. This uh, is a basic human need. <laughs> but not really. That's obnoxious. I'm just kidding. Just make sure. It's clear. Um, but yeah. This is first world problems. Definitely first world problems. Wait, is it? Here we go. We're going in that coffee shop. That shall not be named. All right. And we're just waiting for our craft coffee to come out. <laughs> Row! There's a baby dinosaur in there. Baby dinosaur? Row! <laughs> Yeah, Dash? You gonna share it by your baby dinosaur? Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Cheers. Even funnier, look how they spelled our names. Lauren. Makes sense. Denia Denial. Uh, not sure about that one, but uh, yeah. A for effort. Hey, to be real, our names are harder here than they are back home. That is true. All right, so what's the goal for today? The goal for today is to do approximately a 90 minute run. Get nine or 10 miles in, give or take, just kind of seeing how we feel and how far we're gonna go. Um, so it should be good. This commercial break brought to you by the makers of a single aisle bridge directly in front of us. We're just chilling, waiting for this lovely lady to cross and then we're going to continue on our path of running another beautiful day in Andorra checking in on baby dash how's baby dash doing down there buddy you doing good you having a good time yeah he's having a great time One of the really cool things about running here is that because it's not as industrialized as most major cities, especially capitals, there's a lot less pollution, so the air is cleaner. Conversely, we're altitude, so it makes it a little bit difficult to breathe. So while the air is crystal clear, super clean, uh, it's, uh, it's still at altitude. Well, 9.28 complete in 90 minutes. So that was an average of a nine minute, 42 second pace. That's yeah. good for me. It was really fun. I mean, uh, we went down, sort of down the mountain, right? Down the valley and then back up the valley. So yeah. down is fun. Yeah. Back up, uh, a little more harder. challenging, a little more challenging, but uh, you know, honestly you can, it would take you a couple of weeks to adjust to this altitude. 
what I will say but, uh, the biggest hiking adjustment is how awesome the air feels. It feels so clean, don't you think? Seriously, yeah. I mean, there oh, is fresh. next to no pollution. Unlike Barcelona, Barcelona is, is known for having... Like some of the worst. Uh, yeah, some pretty, not, not so great uh, air quality there. So, but check but out great. how Baby Dash finished. <gasps> right Crushing it, crushing it. As always, he is at resting pace. It seems to be his go-to for these long runs. Yeah. To be fair, we stopped at like, I don't know, seven and a half, eight mile mark, and I fed him, so that's That's true. So, he, he's had it, he's having his uh, post- Lunch fiesta? Brunch? Lunch brunch? I guess it's a little too early for lunch, but- Well, around brunch? here. Post brunch fiesta. Siesta. Right, siesta fiesta. Of, let's find brunch. Yeah. Dash, was that so much fun? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, buddy. Yeah, are you ready? You ready to roll? Literally roll. So we got coffee and some of the most delicious pastries. I had a tres leche pastry. Dina, what was your pastry? It was a cinnamon, I had a cinnamon roll, wasn't it? roll, but the tres leches. It was the win. That was the winner right there, no doubt. So good. So good. The best part about that place was that there were like six babies that were all like within a year old range of Dash and he thought it was the greatest thing ever. He did not want to leave. He was kind of mad at us about it, but it was fun. I wish we could have included some of that, but we don't know how other people are about, you know, getting their babies filmed. So we don't yeah, that would be awkward. touch that, but he had a great time with all the babies. <laughs> so much fun. Whoop. Mr. Dash. Look at that dude. It's pretty intense. Time to explore now that we've got some showers. Don't say anything. Shh. <laughs> Let's see how long it keeps it on. If you watched our video yesterday, we talked about how we got our penthouse suite at our hotel for really inexpensive because it's off season. Now, that being said, the only trouble with visiting somewhere like Andorra in the off season, it's really small, is that it tends to be things are closed. So today is Sunday and there's a lot more clothes today than you would expect in a normal big city. A couple of the historical uh, places that I wanted to go visit, not open. One of them wasn't even open on Saturday or Sunday this time of year. So just something to think about when you're thinking about your travel plan. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What's up, Dash? Dash, what's up? 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 Dash, what's up
Josh, how you doing? You having fun, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? In yesterday's video, I mentioned a really weird looking building because I did not know what it is. And I Googled it last night and figured it out. So we're gonna head over there, see if we can look at it, slash get in. We'll see. What's happening right now? Uh-oh, Dash, buddy, are you pulling off the, you know what? <laughs> yeah, you think that's funny? You think that's funny? Yeah? No? That's oh. a no-go? Uh-oh. Taking it right here? Here's another really, really cool playground for the kids. And you can kind of see off in the distance there, there's some pretty cool slides as well. This crazy looking building behind us is actually the largest spa in all of Southern Europe. It's called Caldea Spa and it was opened in 1994 and it's currently 30,000 square meters. Now, if you're from the US, you're trying to do the math in your head, you don't have to worry about that. That's around 98,000 square feet in size. So this complex here is huge. That being said, we looked on their website and the only thing we could find about bringing kids is that they have a special section for kids between the ages of three and eight that adults aren't even allowed in. Can we have a moment about how awesome that is? Um, but we're betting that considering it's thermal springs, that probably isn't allowed. But we're gonna go try it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the things that really stands out about this building is its architecture. When you compare it to some of the other buildings that are hundreds and hundreds of year old, years old in the area, the juxtaposition of new and old architecture is really, really, really interesting, especially when you consider how tall this building is. Country's right, baby's a no-go, but there's a restaurant. So we'll go check that out. So we just used the restaurant as an excuse to get to see this place, but it is so cool. And I mean, Dad really loves horse stuff. Big fan, Dash. Oh yeah, loves croissants. I mean, does anybody not love croissants? All right, I was just hitting up the Googs here because you know that's how you find out your best information. Um, the thermal spa variations here are an Aztec bath, a grapefruit bath, no clue what that is, an outdoor jacuzzi with mountain views, and a Turkish bath and sauna with an outdoor solarium to relax in. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> sounds pretty, pretty epic. Now, the water is known for being rich in sulfur, but it's also rich in sodium, sulfates, calcium amongst other things. Now it's known for its healing properties. It's supposed to help with allergies. It's supposed to help with just your overall wellness. There's a lot of reasons why we should probably be in there right now as opposed to in the restaurant area. Um, but there's mainly one reason why we can't be. And that's okay. We'll be back to Andorra and there will be other thermal springs around the world uh, for us to you know, partake in. It's just not gonna be this particular one right now. That's okay.
overall thoughts? Um, so there are some small drawbacks of traveling with a small child. That would have been freaking fantastic to spend a series of hours in the spa. But, oh my goodness, that place is awesome. Yeah. Daniel and I were just talking about it. Um, if anyone would like to apply for our pod of travel families, and when we find places like this, mommies can go in the morning and daddies can go at night, this is a really good plan. home at this time we would be thinking about dinner but it's 6 30 p.m and like in spain they really don't serve dinner at this point in time we'll be lucky if restaurants open in like an hour so we'll have to find some way to kill a little bit of time because tonight fondue is that andorin no but we saw it at a restaurant and it looks really good so that's what we're gonna do One of our favorite things to do when we come anywhere new is do a quick Google search and find out what some of the traditional like cuisine is. That being said, when we Googled that for Andorra, well, sadly it's very, very meat based. And if you've been following along with our channel, you know that we're a vegetarian. So there aren't a lot of options for us to try, although there are a couple of desserts that maybe could be a potential. So we're keeping an eye out for that. We just found out that the restaurant that has fondue doesn't open until 8 p.m. The good news is that it's very close to the park and let's be real, Dash is obsessed with the swings. So we figured we'd take them there, especially considering we're talking about the <laughs> Is that the best ever, dude? Oh, yes. More fun things to play on. Hey, you want to go this way? Where are we going? You and that hand still. It's 8 p.m. and as you can see, the sun is still out, which is lovely, but in the very near future, it's gonna get a little bit chilly out here. So because of that, we're gonna put Dash back in my coat and go check and see if we can get an inside table at the restaurant. If they only have outdoor tables, that's not gonna be a thing. So we need to kind of get there quickly to try to grab one. <laughs> you think this is best, dude?
jungly tales lost. Dash. What did you think of dinner tonight? Was it good? Yeah, did you like it? Was it so yummy? Oh, look, and you even wore your very... Oh, yes, tell us about it. We think Dash is pretty fantastic in a restaurant at this time of night. We're blaming it on Barcelona today. Let's pretend you love the hat, okay? It's gonna be cold outside. Baby. That was delicious. Can we just have a moment on the fact that that was really good? It was amazing, honestly. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we had appetizers, wine, fondue, all of it for like 70, 70 euros. Euro? On, like, right beside. In the tourist trip. Yeah. So, like, if you're in Orlando, the equivalent would be, like, uh, international drive um, prices. Yet, still amazing, honestly. Um, it was really good. Food. It was really, really good. Now, <clears throat> it is approximately 9 30 um and the temperature is starting to plummet yeah so it's expected to hit the low 30s high 20s tonight um it honestly doesn't feel that bad out here right now it honestly doesn't it really, really doesn't but uh there's a potential for snow um Gosh, it's like 10 or 20 percent so not very much we're battling with dash to <laughs> keep his hat on Dang. but uh Still convinced that if there were snow on the ground, Dash would like roll around in it. He loves the cold. Not Seriously. The hat. The hat is good for you, Bobby. <laughs> Anyways, we're headed back to the headed back to the hotel. Gonna unwind for the evening. Relax. Well in that case. Tomorrow's another day. We should call it a night. We should. Yeah. But if you haven't already this week, make sure we're gonna call you in. <gasps> Dash? <laughs> Dash, Dash your is, turn. Make sure you wander local. Because as you know, right, Dash? It's good for the soul. <laughs> Night, Fred. See you tomorrow. Dash. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> Dash. <laughs>